Here's to you guys really quick. I don't have much time. I just wanted to tell you right now that we have new merch live on the website. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got sweatpants. We got underwear. We got accessories. We got fucking duffel bags. We got everything that you need. What else do you need? Buy your kids some fucking new school clothes. That's all you need to do. Tyler? What's your three favorite things to do on a Friday night? Oh, that's easy. For sure, it's going to a place that has cheap drinks, cheap food, and extremely mediocre karaoke. That's actually crazy because today's episode is brought to you by the American Legion in Pine City, Minnesota. They got karaoke every Friday. Now let's get back to the show. What up, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back with another episode of On Tap with the Boys. Um, and uh, I just want to start off by saying uh, absolutely phenomenal last weekend. Uh, the karaoke at the American Legion was incredible. Me and Sam were talking about it off air, and uh, I don't even care about the other guests here tonight because we're so overwhelmed with the karaoke. Unbelievable. Dude, Unbelievable. Fun as fuck. Mm-hmm. As always. But today, who do we got, Cody? Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the one and only trial of Captain Jack Sparrow, a.k.a. Edward Scissorhands, a.k.a. Johnny Depp. Deep dive. And we have Tyler Cavillan here with us today. This man is well versed in the Johnny Depp case. I've looked into it a little bit. He's An been expert. watching the live streams on how on how much TikTok? how much time do you have into watching this trial? You think? I don't know. Uh, I've been watching it pretty good for the last six days. I've heavily been watching it. I would say the last two, I just got home from work. I watch <laughs> until I go to bed, pretty much. But. Man, it's been pretty wild. Uh, when we say deep dive, like how deep are we talking? Are we talking David Jones Locker over here, or what? What are we doing? Um, probably not that deep. I <laughs> like. I know. I I know a good amount. I'm not gonna say I'm like an expert. I know everything. But you all got right. a little crush I just, on Ambry, don't you, bud? I don't know she's pretty good looking. But she she's was psycho. looking cute, dude. Before we yeah. get into this here, I want to say full disclaimer: everything that I've read and everything that I've seen, I'm 100 percent on Johnny Depp's side. And I know that all my opinions for the rest of this will be portrayed this way. And it's 100% true. I think Amber's 100% in the wrong here. I want to say, before we start this, I thought we landed on the moon in 1959. So don't take anything I say to the fucking grave, all right? I could definitely (laughs) be wrong. I just want to get that out there. Okay, so let's start this out here. They got divorced in 2016. 16. And that's where this whole defamation trial has is starting their basis off of. Defamation because, slash defecation trial. Yes. <laughs> yes. And more on that later. But so what what we see here now is a messy divorce going on between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. And now this has created a defamation of character lawsuit in which Johnny Depp is suing Amber Heard for $50 million. She is countersuing. For a hundred million dollars, all right. Which is just normal legal practice. When you get sued, you sued back. You sue back. No, we were you talking. Back. Mm-hmm. We were talking about this before the episode. But now, when Amber and Johnny first got divorced, Sam, you were saying that he had to pay her like seven million dollars or something like that. Yes. Yeah, already. So, well, when the they settlement. when they first got divorced and they went to court for their divorce, she also filed an, a domestic assault restraining order against him. And to sweep it under the table and for her to not file that, he had to pay her $7 million, which she pledged to donate half of it to the Children's Hospital and half of it to the Me Too movement, I believe. So she wasn't keeping any of it, she claimed? She, yeah, she said she was going to donate all of it because she's also a famous actress, so she's well, yeah. rich as fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, so did she, she? So it just came out that she did not <gasps> donate it. Not a penny. Oh. So now the whole thing started from the defamation of character where Amber, after the divorce, made wrote an article for the Washington Post talking about how she is a survivor of domestic abuse. She never explicitly named Johnny Depp in the article anywhere, but obviously she just got out of this marriage with the man. Like she's insinuating that he beat her up. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that's where this whole thing comes from now. He gets dropped from Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, which he literally helped start from the ground up. Dude, like I the, remember this man. You go to any grocery store back in 2016, and you know those little those little magazines on the front cover said like the the queen is having an affair with who? <laughs> yeah. You know, at the time it was like wife beater. You oh know, yeah, Jack Sparrow. You know, and pictures of her just like really you yeah know, saying how bad it was and shit. So that comes into the defamation to start it out too. Was that People Magazine also published uh, the front page of their article uh, right after the divorce was Amber with, like, a bruised face. Like, her whole face was bruised. And that's the thing is, I mean, we'll get into that more in detail, but 
this is like huge grounds for basically his whole career. He Absolutely. gets dropped from everyone who, do you remember who he had uh, affiliation with? He lost his deal with Disney. Yep, he lost his Disney. deal with Warner Brothers. And uh, I don't know who else he lost. I just know that but Dior he kept, was the only one. Yeah, I was going to say, he kept his. Dior was the only one that kept through this whole scenario, and they're still with him even now. Dior. Applaud to Dior. What I've never heard of him, but I fuck with him now. What's Dior? You know Dior? Like, Us like, country folk. Is that Dior? Uh, Are you talking about D-I-O-R? Isn't yes. he a singer? No. No, no, that's no, a rapper, Dior? No, you're thinking make, of Pop Smoke? This is, yeah, 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 Dior, Dior. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a clothing brand. They're like a, they're like oh. a Gucci brand, you know, like okay. the, uh, luxury. luxury, like where you buy like an $800 bottle of cologne and a $2,500 pair of Nikes. What does he do for Dior them? Nikes. Make cocaine boxes? He's just, I think he's a model he's face a model of the brand. Dior, yeah. Oh, okay. You know? All right. All right. Okay, so now we get into the actual trial itself here. Well, so one thing that we should also mention um, in 2020, Johnny Depp filed a lawsuit against The Sun, which is a news publishing establishment. I, I don't know the right term. A media company. They put out, they basically put out an article that referred to Johnny Depp as a wife beater. And so he, okay. he filed a lawsuit against The Sun where Amber Heard had to testify and he lost that lawsuit. Yes. In England, right? Or something? Was yeah. It overseas? UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. in the yeah. UK. And then mm-hmm. they... They decided for this next case going into it that they cannot refer back to the case against the Sun. So although that information is is relevant to bring up now, in this case it is not relevant. They will they cannot refer to it. They cannot use any evidence brought to Well, here's a good thing. We're not a jury and we can fucking dissect whatever, take whatever we, we want. We want. We can so I'm gonna put it in my head and I'm gonna think about that during this case. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, they they kind of had to do that so, because, like, if they if they were able to like refer back to then, like, this court case would never end. Like, it would be going on forever. Oh yeah, I think it already like is. they had to basically cut it, wipe it clean, and start from fresh. So, how do you find a jury for a case like this? That's right. my question. Right, because now every person in this room obviously knows who Johnny Depp is, and probably knows who Amber Heard is. Like, they're both very well accomplished actors and actresses. Amish communities. <laughs> Amish communities. Yes, sir. So you go just find people who are on Rumspringer and bring them in and have them decide. Or on life support, really old. Or on life support. And obviously they've been through the screening. They're not racist. They're not, uh, what's what's the, what do you got to do to I go through that? I think it might be hard to find Amish people or really old people that aren't racist. Wow. Okay, Tyler, that's kind of a hot take. I'm just saying. It's a hot take. It's a hot take, but I don't disagree with it. It's culture (laughs) back then. It was their. Dude, I'll tell you what, I've never seen a black Amish person. Prove me wrong. Someone send in a picture. Wow. Okay. Think about it, bro. That's a good point, actually. Okay. Well, as far as my knowledge, there was no Amish on the jury, so we don't have to worry (laughs) about it. There's too many variables that have been eliminated already. Okay. So now, her big thing is that one of the biggest arguments that Amber has in this court case is that he beat her up, right? Like, that's the whole basis of this thing. Okay. Is she's saying this is domestic assault. Now, of one of the... case? Yes. I thought this well, was well, defamation. defamation. But that, this is what created oh, yeah, the yeah. defamation's okay. lawsuit. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, um, she claims that he beat her up, right? There was one incident in particular that keeps getting brought up where she ended up with supposedly a split lip, a broken nose, and, like, a bruised face, right? Mm-hmm. So now here's one thing, one hole to this whole side of their argument is that when I was listening to this case, we find out that they use a concierge doctor, which for like rich people is like a doctor that just comes to your house whenever you're feeling sick or when it, whatever you need something done, they come to you. Mm-hmm. So you don't go to like a hospital or nothing. Yeah. And now when this concierge doctor would come by, obviously all this is documented really well. He never got called to the house for a split lip, for a broken nose, for bruised face, nothing like that. And there is no record of her getting plastic surgery to correct any of these things, anything like that. Now, is this the is this the fight of like what was it like May twenty first, twenty sixteen, or some shit like that? Yeah, that sound about right. Sure, yeah. sounds right. Yeah, I don't know. I watched the uh, trial, uh, the uh, dissection from the neighbor or something. It was his birthday. Okay. Oh, and from they, from like their legit neighbor. Yeah, he's seen her in the hall and shit, and he testified that she had no bruises on her face. Damn, and nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't yeah. see. I didn't hear that. But I think there's now, also a doorman. I think there's a doorman 
of somewhere where they they well they have full brought, security too. They yeah, they have yeah. a full staff. They brought him into court and asked him if uh, he saw anything, and he said we didn't. And he's like, no, no we didn't. Yeah. See, that's that's what I'm saying. So now, as now, my argument against this is like, okay, there is things that you can hide it up with. Obviously, there's ways around it, but as an actress who makes her living with her looks, mm-hmm. is it possible? without having any record of corrective surgery or anything to just completely look normal while currently filming for a movie. And that's where she got caught in the, in a little bit of the makeup lie is because, Mm -hmm. um, she said she used a certain type of makeup brand foundation to hide her bruises and it didn't come out till 2020. Yeah. And the makeup, it didn't even come out until 2020. And, you know, she was saying that this happened to her since, 2016 or whenever it happened that she was using this foundation. So this company wasn't even a thing in 2016 when they're talking about the incident. Yeah. So there's like plenty of holes in the plot here. A lot of holes, buddy. A lot of holes. Okay. What do you, what what is your guys' thoughts on this whole, on the whole throat thing? The whole throat quote where they're like, it's a, it's a text message chain (laughs) between Johnny Depp and Amber. And she says something about like, basically, uh, Something about harming her throat. And he said, I have plenty of plans for your throat, but harming them doesn't include any of that or something like that. And the lawyer read this twice in the case, right? I have yeah. it. I have it in my notes I'm, here. I and and I, they even asked him, they were like, did I read that correctly? And he's like, yes. He, so like, he, the lawyer reads and says, quote, I have other uses for your throat that do not include. Oh, I was using speech to text. In-house M injury is not right, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'd assume not. For your throat that do not include injury, right? And the lawyer says it twice. And then Johnny Depp asks him to repeat it again. And then, like, the whole courtroom starts laughing. <laughs> because they're like, you know, he's making a mockery of the lawyer, like, yeah. having to say this. Like, obviously, this is not saying, like, I'm going to choke you out. I'm going to kill you. This is literally, like, a sexed message. Oh, yeah. And, and he's trying to use this as, like, oh, you're saying you're going to harm her. <laughs> yeah. When it l- explicitly says everything but injury. Yeah, that's wild. So, like, what is he implying here? You know what I mean? It's almost like they're defending him. Throat goat, dude. Kind of. Throat goat. I'm saying it. Amber Heard might be the throat goat. We don't know it. Throat gate. Throat gate. If you will. Mm. I can get behind what, that. Dude. Throat I gate. Behind it. I can get behind it. I can get in front of it, dude. I can get she looks like it. she... Never mind. <laughs> okay, so one thing that I really pulled out of this is that Johnny Depp's drug use is absolutely unbelievable. It's, it's uh, impressive. It's kind of sad, impressive. though, at the same it time. It is. It's like, definitely more sad considering how he got on it. He can't function without it, basically. Like, he, the dude is an absolute madman. Like, he drinks at, like, 8 a.m. and shit, right? Oh, yeah. And then, I mean, it's like, did you see the photo of, like, his stash? Dude, it's hilarious. It's, uh, yeah, property of JD. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you see, did you so see cool. that... Uh, when he poured himself a completely full glass of wine. Yeah, and, the, the and, mega pint. Yeah, and the lawyer <laughs> was like, you poured yourself a mega pint. And, and Johnny <laughs> was like, a mega pint? <laughs> Dude, one thing that I realized from this case is that Johnny Depp is actually kind of funny, dude. Yeah. Like, he, oh, he can he's figure got that out dry humor. in a court case how to make the fucking jury and the audience laugh. Like, that's impressive. Well, yeah. and that's the thing, too. What I had written down here, it was that, like, Everything he says is, like, not a testimony. It's just his stream of consciousness. Like, he's walking you through his way of thinking. He's not telling you exactly. what happened. He's walking you the reasoning of everything. Everything he says is like a three-act play. Mm-hmm. There's, like, a buildup, a climax, and a resolution Literally. of everything yeah. he's saying. And that I think that's what makes it so enjoyable to watch and so entertaining is because he's literally telling a story every time they ask him a question. And he even gets cut off because he starts, like, rambling. Yeah. But then he gets cut off and they say, you know, oh, do respect for the jury's time and everyone else's mm-hmm. time. You got to, you know, cut it short, whatever. Yeah, you gotta- and then the lawyer for Amber Heard, Miss, what's his name? Rottenborn? Mr. Rottenborn. Mr. Rottenborn. And he's Jesus. like fumbling around looking for emails and, and files for like five minutes. So yeah. it's kind of Yo. funny. So, he, you know, Johnny Depp starts poking at him saying a little bit like, you know, hey, we're you're cutting me Dude, off, but like you're wasting yeah, time. Yeah. Is this fucking uh trial in crazy town or something? You got Robbie Rotten as a lawyer over there. Is Robbie Rotten. 
<laughs> you mean Lazy Town? Lazy Town. That's what it was. Dude, they got they got those lawyers from Wish. Like I can't I can't believe those lawyers. Like you would think if you're if you're you know rich and an actor and an actress, such you, a high you, profile, such case. a high right. profile case that you know everyone is gonna find about. You'd think you would try to get a lawyer that is like not gonna look like an idiot, but. They do. Like, I don't I don't understand. You're getting, right. They're probably getting paid so much more. Oh, an unbelievable oh. amount. Because look at this. Like, Johnny Depp has got to be one of the most accomplished actors, arguably, of all time. Oh, dude, his for movie, sure. Blow, that's in my top five favorite yeah. movies of all time. I just seen that for the first time last year. Such a fucking yeah. banger, dude. Very good. So that's the thing, too. Like, he's made so many bad movies that all of his good movies totally outshine that. 100%. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, has the, he made a lot of bad movies? I what? can't think of one... I mean, Dude, I, mean, I personally can't think of any. There's a couple of Pirates of the Caribbean that overall probably aren't that good, like the later ones, but Johnny Depp was still pretty good at them. Here's the deal. When Disney started running that franchise is when it went way more PC and way less yeah. gritty. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's probably what you're thinking because, like, at the end of the day, like, they have to okay the scripting and all that yeah. through Disney, well, which, act- I mean, can't be good. Actually, there was a lot of, on Pirates of the Caribbean, like, they, you know, gave Johnny Depp a script. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. every actor. But he said that a lot of the script wasn't even what he did. He said a lot of it was improv and just stuff that he did that, like, half of it wasn't even the script. It was just him making the joke, him figuring out the timing. And A lot of those really good actors do that. It's not about what the script says. It's about knowing your character. Exactly. Right? Knowing exactly hey. who you are. Mm-hmm. Fucking right. Green yeah. lights, Matthew so McConaughey, buddy. Like, Green when light, you buddy. think about it, like, <laughs> they'll never be able to make another pirate. Pirates of the Caribbean ever. No, because supposedly no. he's not going to be in the next one. I, I think they are making one. Well, it's going to be it's going to be dog shit. Oh, dude, I I'm protesting. I agree. You can't. You can't. Fuck that. Yeah. You can't. So now, okay, getting deeper into the story here. This whole deal with her shitting on the bed. Yo. Yeah. Tell, oh. what, what is your take on this, Sam? Dude, that's. Honestly, one time my cat shit on my bed. <laughs> I I disowned that motherfucker for a month, dude. I didn't even talk Johnny to the Depp cat. Johnny Depp said he laughed when he bro. That's saw the it. worst thing I. Ca- that's my fucking bed. That's my <laughs> sanctuary. That's where I end every night. That's disgusting. I could never get over that. If someone purposely shit on my bed like that, fucked up, dude. Grow up, man. Here's the deal. Amber Heard, she is fucking hot as shit okay you know i'm not i'm not Whoa. into no potty play i've never done none of that but i'm just saying i i don't know if i'm attracted to uh human feces or anything like that but Ugh. i might be i it's but called if amber experimenting heard did it if it's, amber heard yeah did it. it's called experimenting know, for a reason okay isaac newton wouldn't have discovered gravity if a fucking apple didn't shit on his maybe head, okay? maybe if i saw her do it it'd be a little hotter <laughs> But if I just walked up and saw shit, <laughs> oh on my, my bed, god! <laughs> okay, how point. does that change it at all? <laughs> I don't know, man. What? I don't know, dude. That'd I don't be, know. I don't know what I'm worse. into. That'd be worse. You open your bedroom door and there's a chick shitting on your bed. <laughs> yeah, but what if my chest was underneath it? You know? <laughs> exactly. Oh my god! It's not yeah, who's on the same Odell page. Beckham Jr. That shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> OBJ. <laughs> okay, so the whole thing started by he. They're, they're in the middle of this divorce right now. At this point. He goes back to, or wants to go back to their penthouse to grab some stuff that he had a lot of value on. And he calls his security detail and says, like, hey, I want to come back. I know she's gone. She's at Coachella. This is the day of her birthday, April 16th, I believe, of 2020. I think it was 2020. Okay. Oh, April she, 16th she of just shit on his bed recently? This was 2020. So they've been, divo- they'd been divorced, though, for so long. It was either 2020. They're still sleeping together or what? Maybe it was 2016, April oh, 16th of 2016. Should, Anyways, Jamie, 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 will you look that up for us? No, you're gonna confuse the fuck. <laughs> and out of me. Uh, okay, so now <laughs> he he calls his security and says, "Hey, we want to, or I want to come grab some of my stuff. Can I come over there? I know she's gone. She's at Coachella." And he says, "Now is not a good time." He's like, "What do you mean? Right now is not a good time. This is the perfect time. She's not there." Mm-hmm. And then he sends the security sends him a photo of shit on the bed and said, it's not a good time. (laughs) And I have not seen this photo and I have looked for it. I didn't dig very deep, but I wanted to see what it looked like because now in court, (laughs) she was trying to know what her shit looked like. She was trying to say their dog was the one that shit on the bed. Wasn't it a small dog? 
they, there's a pretty distinct difference between human shit and dog right. shit. Well, and that's the thing. They have two teacup Yorkies. Oh, my God. Right? Dude. So in his thing, um, God, I have it written down here somewhere. Uh, shit on her side of the bed. Oh, she shit on her side? Hit, oh, on his side. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. She shit on his side of the bed. Damn. Flip the bed around. Do, do make the bed do a 180 and you're good to go. Let me uh, let me find flip it. Flip it over and leave. Yeah. It. Okay. You are supposed to rotate that thing monthly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Don't worry about it next month, dude. Hey, Jamie. Do you think you could get me a bush light, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have here at uh, she blamed the poop on the dogs, and Johnny on the stand says they are teacup Yorkies. I've cleaned up their fun before, is what he says, and then he said they didn't leave their grumpy on the bed. That grumpy on the bed. And he called it a fecal delivery. <laughs> so like, uh, a grumpy he just, too? Like, he, what the fuck? He just kept using all these crazy <laughs> analogies for this dog shitting on the bed without saying poop or shit. And it He's was just the funniest man, thing. He's a man, dude. He's not going to use that disgusting word. Right, but he kept saying, like, fecal delivery and grumpy <laughs> and all this just weird stuff. Down. I respect it. Yeah. James is trying to be respectful. And so not now, the with that being said, Tyler... You've yes. had a bad experience with an ex-girlfriend before. What yes. would you have said if someone, as oh. you're in the middle of a messy breakup, just out of nowhere, shits on your bed? What would like? Wh- what is the tra- What is the first thought going through your head? Oh, I would have laughed too. Like how ridiculous that is. Like that is. It's very over the top. You know. It's like yeah. It's like you're 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 totally colorblind I to mean, the whole situation. Honestly, I'd give them props for creativity though. That just like, shows you're crazy though. Like if yeah. you like that just oh, that yeah. base Wait, oh, wait, wait. It listen, solidifies like no normal person listen, does listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. Tyler, <laughs> you're telling me it's going to be all fucking funny. But no. when you're sitting there taking your sheets oh, off, oh no, I'd be, I'd be fucking pissed. fucking cleaning the yeah. shit out of it, <laughs> no. throwing your sheets in the washer. I would be pissed. He's just trying to. I, I didn't. I guess I uh, dude, that question was hearsay. That's so fucking hearsay? disgusting, <laughs> dude. I can't get over it. Objection. Huh? Have you seen? I would not like to not use that response in uh, in my trial. <laughs> There's been True so this? many. Did you see the video of when um, the clip of? The lawyer, the hearsay, like yeah. to every single thing Johnny says, yes. and then he asks someone that he gets asked a question, and he says like the first two words, and he looks like over at the lawyer waiting for him to say hearsay, and then he goes, "No, okay," and then he says two more words, and then he goes hearsay, and then Johnny goes, <laughs> "No, yeah, there it is." That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I'm learning." I'm learning. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the the TikTok clips are good. I will say like. My TikTok right now, like for live feeds, it's like it goes every other. It's either like some chick showing a lot too much cleavage, and then it's the live stream of the court case. And <laughs> yes, people, that's the and crazy people thing. comment, uh, like commentary the whole time. Really Dude, annoying. it is it is unbelievable because it has got to be the most publicized court case in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. I I would think like this is the only court case on a high pub like a high profile. Celebrity so that I've actually paid attention to. Here's the thing to. I've been thinking about is that, like, this is a defamation of character suit, but, like, legitimately, I feel like this um, this whole court case is more <laughs> defamation than whatever happened before. Like, this is in everybody's heads right now. Everybody's thinking about it, and, like, oh, yeah. right. everybody thinks this chick, well, knows this chick, this shit on his bed. Like, what gets more right. defamating than that? Well, that's the thing. I think, like, that's kind of the trade off for, for Johnny Depp, where it's, like, I need everything out here even like the shitty details of what happened because mm-hmm. i need to clear my name but i like, think jo- johnny was going into it thinking he was going to lose again just like the sun case well like, i don't think he johnny thought- johnny said before like right when the trial was getting going he said i already lost this case i yeah. in the public's eyes i'm already done this is going to follow me for the rest of my life yeah. So I don't think he actually cares about winning the lawsuit at all. He just wants the story out there so oh, they can hear it. Exactly, because That's he said brilliant. he's like, I already lost Disney. I lost Pirates. You know, he, he lost everything. So he's like, right. it doesn't even matter at this point. And he is, dude, he's getting what he wants. He's clearing his name. Yeah. Like Johnny oh, Depp. Yeah. Johnny Depp, before the case started, people already thought he was a woman beater. It was already kind of For like sure. he, he abused you know he abused her like that's what you kind of knew going into it now everybody's defending him yeah, so now it, when this it, whole thing came out that whole me too movement was kind of long right along oh with yeah it. Yep. so now there's a new trending hashtag on twitter me poo <laughs> <laughs> 
directly involved with obviously Amber shitting on the bed. Well, that's Although, the biggest thing about Amber that a lot of people are coming at her for. She, you know, we don't know for sure. Nobody knows exactly what happened, but she is said to have taken advantage of the Me Too movement and 100%. potentially ruined Johnny Depp's life. Well, and like you already said, she already planned on donating $3.5 million to the Me Too movement and never yeah. did. Never did. <laughs> if you wow, if you look at fuck. the comments on all like the TikTok clips and the YouTube videos, like when I'm researching it, watching the live streams and everything, I'm like looking in the comments and going like just digging in the comments, looking for someone to stick up for Amber. Like you would think at least one person right. would take Amber. And there side. isn't? I've looked through I kid you not, thousands of comments and I've never seen one single comment That's defending wild. Amber. That is crazy. So at the beginning of the cross-examination, too, with Amber's lawyer, he said to Johnny Depp on the stand, you were drinking pretty early that morning when they're talking about a certain scenario. Yeah. And Depp said, isn't it happy hour anytime? And then, like, <laughs> the whole courtroom starts laughing, right? So it's, like, immediately, I'm sure, makes that lawyer, like, look like less of a lawyer. Oh, yeah, yeah there was another one, him. right? There was another one, too, where you said uh, you went and you went there and uh, you were pretty drunk. And then Johnny goes, oh, were you there? <laughs> yeah, I think I have that written down, too. He said, isn't it happening any time? And the room chuckled, and the lawyer says, you drank quite a lot that day. He responds, were you there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he, he was trained very well in what to say to the shit. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, he, knows, oh, yeah. he knows how to answer. Because after I went to court, my lawyer told me all the shit that I should have said. And I'm like, fuck, I never thought about that. It's like, now you know. But that's why that's he's an actor. You know, so oh, if you yeah. tell him what you're saying, he's dude. gonna be able exactly. to just make yeah. something out of it. And, and that's the thing too, as an actor, like your improbability, that it's that incredible. like muscle, you're using that part of your brain all the time. Well, so like he talks so slow, and he always has, so he yeah. gets to think about every word that yeah. comes out of his mouth. How crazy is it that I feel like we're not actually seeing johnny depp's court case i feel like i'm watching a more buttoned up jack sparrow on the stand yeah dude like, he just has agree. become a real life jack sparrow that just shows his character though it does yeah but that's what they say like these these huge high profile actors become the role that they're most known for yeah well here's the problem Jack Sparrow was not a good person. Like he was a massive alcoholic, and like <laughs> yeah, but you okay. Know, listen, what is became that? Like, they're all like massive. He did some good things. Well, he did. He went to the children's hospital and dressed up as Jack Sparrow. He held that know? boat upside down on at the bottom. Yeah, yeah the dude, he's yeah. a genius. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I mean, to that same standpoint, though, we grew up with a lot of alcoholics, Tyler, and I would say as long as your moral compass is true north oh, absolutely it doesn't matter how you get there there's a difference between al like an alcoholic and a functioning alcoholic like so you're saying he's obviously he's a functioning alcoholic he's a functioning alcoholic yeah but he still and makes good choices and a functioning drug addict we know a lot of those too well he yeah. didn't have he didn't have a very good up upbringing like right. he, like you know the uh you can go ahead and tell the story about yeah, okay so i was reading this thing too we were talking about this pre 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 pod here we were talking about how when he was a kid, it was he was 11 years old, and he had his mom had these what she called nerve pills, right? And she would call them her nerve pills when she would like freak out. She's like, "Give me my nerve pills," <laughs> and I'm assuming it was like Valium, Xanax, something along those lines. Oh boy! And now he said, "I saw her take these quote nerve pills." And when she was freaking out, it would calm her down. And he said, "At 11 years old, I would freak out, and I would." didn't know how to calm myself down. So when I would give her one, I turned around at 11 years old and I would take one also. <laughs> and so fuck. he started That's getting crazy. addicted to these opioids at 11 That's years old. At oh, 11 shit. years old. And his mom was extremely physically abusive, mentally abusive. So like having this outlet to deal with that, I think is nuts as a kid because you can abuse that pretty freaking easy. You can abuse it. Wow. I mean, just look at alcohol drinking. I mean, in high school, obviously, we weren't drinking illegally, but a lot of people that we knew <laughs> yeah, were drinking illegally. Yeah, we would never, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people that we knew that were drinking illegally, it was like a, an escape, a stress reliever, if you will. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. So then you carry that now into, he got famous at 20 years old. I mean, that's when his acting career really took off at 20 Isn't years old. 21 Jump Street was his first thing, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. That was his breakthrough. Sure. I'm pretty sure it was 21 Jones. Okay. So now at 20 years old, it's Back like, it's like, 
uh, I was listening to Joe Rogan talking about it. He was saying like, it's like concrete. You know, when you get famous at 20 years old, you don't, that concrete doesn't cure right. Like you're not living a normal life that a 20 year old should live. No, he was talking about how, like, especially when the pirates of the Caribbean really took off, he would have people dressed as Jack Sparrow trying to break into his house to get photos with the real Jack Sparrow (laughs) as Jack Sparrow. (laughs) And it's just like insane. So like having to have full security detail when you're, you know, 20 years old, that's got to fuck with your head. Oh yeah. So now that led into him. Do you know anything about him owning this Island in the Bahamas? No. So he he had bought this island in the Bahamas as like his only real escape. God, that's because so fucking cool, dude. That's the only place that you can go as a mega superstar where people don't know who Please you are. Please tell me there's a motherfucking pirate ship there. Oh, there has to be. Yeah, he that lives on it. Is. He if he doesn't it, sail on a pirate ship, he sails it. You're serious? Yeah, he sails okay. it by himself. No he's got fucking a crew. way, dude. Yeah. He Holy fights smoke. all the other ships that even come near the island. <laughs> <laughs> you best. Dude. It's actually the Black Pearl. It's one of the fastest ships in yeah, that part of the Bahamas. He finally got the Black Pearl back. You know. Hey Man, boys, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta piss like a fucking racehorse. How about a bathroom break? Yeah, oh boy, dude, you're asking a lot. Like every other yeah. time. Yeah. You know and, what? Uh, you know what? This is a great time for a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Oh, Sam, I feel like shit, man. Lucky for you, I got the cure for you, man. Everyday Cafe, Cambridge, Minnesota. Are you talking today, sponsor of the bathroom break? Everyday Cafe in Cambridge, Minnesota? Yes, yeah, actually the hangover cure of the gods, dude. Awesome. Well, thank you for sponsoring the episode. Let's get back to the show. And to Travis, I said, no, I said to you, hey, tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t- tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you you figured it all out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch said, you, by the I, way. you. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you've been in a lot of fights. You've been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a close You face. didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. You heard it here first, folks. Unreal. Back from the bathroom break, and we're not we're coming in with hard hitting evidence, not punching evidence. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so the, dissect us a little bit. Unpackage what just happened here. Uh she I don't know what she describes as a punch. You know, maybe close fist. That's a good point. You know, hitting, you know, I don't know. It, it's well, all up for... Johnny's been break. around the block, you know. He's been in plenty of fights. It's honestly alarming. The um, The amount of recordings is fucking insane. You know, they're like, oh, two hours, blah, 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 one hour, blah, blah, blah. Like, holy fuck, they've been... Re- they just record for hours and hours or their, their conversations and shit. Oh, yeah. And they they're all it was they're, coming up and, and stuff. The craziest part is they're both recording behind each other's back, like hoping to get some dirt on the other one. Uh, there's another video of Johnny like going around their kitchen, like slamming doors shut. And to, to insane. Yeah, that was the you, mega pint thing. Did you yeah. hear what he said when um, they were asking him about that in court? Because she said that he assaulted her that day. <laughs> he said, he was like, no. I assaulted some cabinets. Yeah, yeah, bro. Right. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> but assault is up for debate if you th- believe you're in uh, in danger. Well, there's just such a, you know, like that clip that you just played. Like she said, sorry, I didn't, I didn't punch you properly. I was hitting you, Johnny. You're a baby and all that. Imagine, you know, if he said that to her, if it oh, was like oh, flipped God, around, yeah. he'd be in jail right now. Like, oh, oh yeah, court case would be yeah. over. And I don't no doubt. play that card, but I mean, so now that's that card. Another yeah. incident yeah. that comes into to my mind when I think about like as far as the domestic assault side goes, when he severed his finger. Do you guys know the kind of story behind that? Yeah, uh, I know a little bit. A little bit of vodka bottle. Okay, yeah. so now from what I understand, this was in Australia, right? And this all goes back to actually when they got married because he wanted to do a prenuptial agreement Mm -hmm. and smart man, smart man. Everyone should. Here's the thing. You have to have a prenup so far before you get married. Yeah. You can't do it like the day of or right before. Really? It. It's like 60 days or something. 30 really? days. I just seen this on 90 day fiance. The chick tried to get a prenup like the day before the wedding. And they're like, no, nah, you got, it takes like two months. Yeah. You got to file so it what, way they before to delay their wedding. Then? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, on 90 day fiance. They did. Yeah. <laughs> so now basically she, 
he thinks that her attorney purposely delayed this, this, uh, her signing this prenuptial agreement so that she was entitled to half of all of oh. his estate, you know? And so what was even more crazy was that I found out the itinerary for the wedding was literally food, then dancing or wedding, then food, then dancing and drugs. Like that, it says this That's on the, the itinerary. Schedule. Yes, it was like <laughs> dancing and drugs. That that about sums up Cody's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> dancing and drugs. So that's that's. I thought that was just friggin' nuts. But then, okay, so now they tried to do a post nuptial agreement. Yeah, which is kind of the same thing from what I understand. I but I've never heard strong. of that until this. They're not as strong. I don't think. Right. So now. She get in, they got into a big argument. She yells at him because she's not even in his will, right? So there, there was like something going on. And Depp called her attorney, calls her a bitch and all this stuff, like to her attorney. And then he starts to drink because from what it, under, what it seems like, she didn't like it when he drank anytime, right? And this was like 8 a.m. And he goes down and he starts drinking at their bar in their house. Yeah. And he, she grabs the bottle throws it at the wall and it shatters. Now he grabs it. This is right when they got married. I think so. I think that's the timeline. Good honeymoon. Jesus <laughs> yeah, no Christ. Kidding. So now there, uh, he grabs a second bottle and he starts drinking this and she throws this bottle at him and that's what severed his finger. Right? So now while they're showing the photo in court, he says he forgot that she also burned a cigarette on his face during this argument. So now he has this like cigarette burn on his face in the photo that they're showing for his finger. So like his attorney, <laughs> the finger was so fucked. I totally forgot. I got a cigarette burned on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so now also he's there. So then he pulls up this in court, right? So this had never been a thing because he was just so focused on the finger. They forgot about the cigarette burn. Yeah. So now he brought up that. Now that gets added as another thing in court. That's so the good. dynamic gets a little bit deeper. It's a good one. Now, while he was filming for pirates of the Caribbean five movie at the time, they had to CGI his bandage out of the movie. So he had green dots all over his bandage while they were filming, I guess. Oh my God. And they God. like computer generated this like fake finger on him. So I was gonna rewatch it and see if yeah. I could see his finger on there. You know at all. I he had it on for a long time too. I heard it that, you know I mean you actually, cut your whole freaking finger he, off. Yeah, he had did it he, on for a long he time. He lost some of it? Or did the it's is his, it yeah. just a tip? It was his middle yeah, finger on his was, right hand. Yeah. No, like so like is does he have a stub? No, no, he doesn't not have the a stub, but it like it, it okay. fucked his finger up pretty good. Like, Damn, yeah. I'm I I don't I know. Saw a raw I didn't picture see the and photo. It was like split right down the center, yeah. like it was Oof. looked like a flower. Oh, Gross. Gross. Yeah. So this whole bandage thing ended up actually shutting down production for a little bit at when they were filming Pirates of the Caribbean Five. So now Amber's legal team claims he cut it himself, but his doctor stated that it was a velocity injury, meaning it was more than likely from Gross. her throwing the vodka bottle at it. Wow. Catch that bitch. After this, she had gifted him a large Bowie knife that said, Till Death XX Slim. Slim was her nickname from him. So she gave him a Bowie knife after the fact, and she tried saying that he used this to cut his own finger off. But it was after, as that, he's, as after he, this happened. As he's filming the movie, he just cut yeah. his own finger off. Well, and one thing that I saw is Johnny Depp is a guitarist. He he loves playing guitar. And anybody that plays guitar knows you don't fuck up your finger because they were trying to say he cut his own finger. If you play guitar, you're never trying to fuck up your finger because that you know that's that's how you fucking play. Yeah. What are you going to switch over to left? Yeah. Yo, I seen this guy when I was really young that didn't have any arms and he played with his feet, dude. Oh, That's yeah, actually yeah. sick. It was really fucking cool. Like, he how do you, really do you lay it down flat? Yeah, it, so he, he sat in the chair and he had it laying on the floor and he fucking played that bitch. Dude, it's it like wild. when you see those TikToks of the Arby sandwich, you know, have you seen the one where the girl trips and then it shows a real Arby sandwich? <laughs> 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 no. Oh, dude. No. Yeah. That shit cracks so me up good. every Wait, who time, said no? Dude. Somebody say no. <clears throat> no. Um, I, don't big, I don't know. It must have been Dipper, someone in the jury. Big Dipper over there <laughs> at the end of the fucking bar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one thing, one takeaway that I really want to bring out of this trial here is that if you're going to do drugs, make sure that you're encasing these drugs in extremely personalized boxes and bags. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like, even these pill yeah. bottles in some of these photos of his paraphernalia were all engraved JD on them. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, like make it a box that like, could hold cocaine, but 
you know. Yeah, multi-purpose box. Yeah, you can't really be that stereotypical criminal that says, oh, these are my cousin's pants. <laughs> these aren't mine. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's sort my cousin's grenade. drug box. His yeah. initials are actually just, the same I'm as mine. I'm just borrowing this car. It's not Dude, mine. I respect a dedicated drug abuser, you know? Like, <laughs> really? Man, like, Explain. You put in the work. You put in I'm the work. I'm just saying, the man loves his drugs. He's been buying them for his entire life. If he wants a nice little fucking container to put it in, I respect that. Treat well, yourself. That's, that's what you have to think about. Like, <laughs> obviously, you know, it's not like 100%. Amber Heard's fault in zero percent, John. Oh no! You know, like they're both fucking insane. Obviously, he he did shit to piss her off. Like he didn't. He's a little. He's a little off. You know. Well, but right like, away they should have known. It doesn't mean that you know she can beat him up and cut his finger. Right. Off, well, know? originally she was claiming that he was the only one that did anything. She wasn't taking any blame. Right. None. And that's where. Like, I'd like to bring up the uh, psychologist that came in to the court. That was super interesting because when she went up there, um, she was basically, she she diagnosed Amber Heard with um, border borderline personality disorder. And Amber Heard's lawyer literally said, so if you're just going to take Johnny's side and not say anything bad about him and only Amber, then why are you here? And she's like... <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Dude, like that's, that's when you what know I you di- lost. Yeah, that's like, when you I know just, it's over. That's what I diagnosed. Unreal. Well, so I think they diagnosed her with something else too. I, th- I it think was it might have been bipolar thing. disorder. Yeah, which is kind of kind of in the same realm. Bad bitch itis. Dude, Bad seriously, I would itis. never date a girl that is bipolar, bro. You'd never no, know. No, you. I mean, no. they're kind of bipolar already. So All you like, non bipolar girls, hit me up. <laughs> Dude, it's and kind of fun though, not knowing what you're coming <laughs> in. <laughs> you yeah. come home from work, you don't know whether it's you don't know if there's gonna be shit on your bed, yeah, if like, she's gonna have dinner <laughs> for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a gamble. Roll the dice. You're every playing day. the lottery, buddy. Yeah. You're playing the lottery. Mm-hmm. And the hey. sci- the psychologist also did because Amber said she had PTSD. So uh, her lawyer said, so could she have developed these disorders from her relationship from the abuse, with Johnny? Basically. And she was like, no. Like, you're born with it. That's what it is. You could have PTSD from what happened, but you can't. You're born with that. And uh, um, the lawyer did a PTSD check on her and the, or not the lawyer, the psychologist. And she said there's 20 points that they touch on when they give someone a test for PTSD. And Amber said that 19 of the 20 things triggered her PTSD. And the psychologist said, it's basically bullshit because even people with real PTSD usually only answer yes to four or five of those questions. Like never, oh. ever, ever is it 19 out of 20 My. questions. Oh, she was obviously fishing that one. Oh, yeah. 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 She wanted it to come back as PTSD. So she's just, she's just trapping herself over and over again through the whole case pretty much. Well, you know how it is. You take like one of those Buzzfeeds, am I gay? <laughs> Dude, I, honestly, I don't think I've seen I, that one. I purposely answered Dude, your not algorithm, gay as possible. Your algorithm, bro, has got you going. <laughs> bro, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, in the heyday of BuzzFeed between 2012 and 2016, bro, you saw every fucking am I this, am I that. I always yeah, heard maybe that Maybe I was... wanted to know if I was gay. <laughs> so you're like, oh, God, well, how do I answer this question? Oh, this you one's start, less gay. And you I pass non-gay. <laughs> Dude. 8%. Nice. So there's a little you're... room. There's a little wiggle room. 8%. <laughs> I had heard that was all, like, some sort of, like, data mining that, like, Russia and oh, China yeah, was doing 100%. to, like, see how you would answer certain questions, like, figure out more about the American population. Yeah, but then they got TikTok, so they don't need that yeah, anymore. Yeah, remember TikTok? <laughs> TikTok was supposed to get banned so many times because it was China collecting data, and it just, nothing ever came out of it. Like, there was yeah. so many times where they're like, oh, TikTok's finally getting banned on December 19th or whatever, oh, and yeah. then it wouldn't get banned, and they would say it's going to get banned a month I do later, remember that trend, yeah. It's our generation's day. D-Day, dude. Yeah. Oh, no shit. I was yeah. terrified. No, d- terrified. our generation's <laughs> D-Day <laughs> was the raid of Area 51. Believe me. Oh, dude, dude no, good point. Some, like, some people actually went. There was, like, yeah, a, not many, a few but, amount yeah. of people that, and they all got arrested because there was only, like, 15 of them that yeah. went, but... 
when they were talking about it, there was thousands of people that said that they were gonna go. <laughs> Dude, on tap should have been there just raining. Thousands that of shit. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, here's the thing. We had actually talked about it and did. Tyler was at back at work at that time and he, he couldn't pull it off. And Dude, I wasn't gonna go by honestly, myself. I <laughs> Dude, you're asking for trouble. We would uh, 100% honestly. would have been arrested. Dude, you could yeah, have made oh, yeah. a documentary on that. Or it would something. have been incredible. It would have been really good content. Yeah. So, I, I mean, back to the, back to Johnny Depp Amber Heard. They should have known that it wasn't going to work out because she's a Taurus and he's an asparagus. Yeah. You know you can't have exactly. those two together. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Dude. They don't work. No. You can't. And I'm an optometrist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's water under the fridge, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> Snapchat told me I'm a Leo. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm on Tinder and I see someone's in an aquarium, sorry. Yeah. You're out. No yeah, shot, you're out. dude. Fresh water or not, I don't need it. <laughs> not going to get along with you. Nope, not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I think that's a good place there to end our synopsis on it. Keep in mind, we are recording this on April 28th of 2022. So anything that comes out between the time that we record this and the time that you hear this, I mean, that's very possible. The, co- I, the case could be done potentially. Yeah. I just want to say, like, we all know that crazy chicks are a lot more fun. Okay, and you know that, like, oh yeah, this I chick, know she's bat shit crazy. I know you know, but like, uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like a little bit like, man, you're a wild card. That's pretty cool. You know, you might shit on my bed one day. You might chop my finger off one day. You might be fucking Aquaman's bitch. You know, you might be all <laughs> these things. You know, and I don't know. I'd be Aquaman's. You're bitch. right. I'd you're do it. You're right. Surprise, yeah. Sam. What what what's your biggest takeaway from this trial here? Honestly, my biggest takeaway. Is that Amber Heard is a piece of shit. But. Allegedly. She's sexy. But I do think that Johnny has a little bit to play in this. But overall, if Johnny Depp, I'll say this right now on the pod right now. If Johnny Depp does not win this case, I will shotgun five beers in a row on whatever pod is after. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that sounds dope. That does really sound like good. a lot of fun. All right. Well, thanks again wait, for wait, listening. Wait. Oh, I got to say one thing. Okay. What about you? I don't know. I got to say one thing. Say I'm going to give the floor to Tyler because he had a little bit of a beef with uh, Tyler over here, and I just wanted to get that out before this pod ends. Yeah, okay. a little bit. I heard you talking shit about Kanye. Yeah, let's settle Con- this. Kanye? Yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah I don't like you him. You little skeet. Why? 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 I don't like Have him. you watched he the Yeezus trilogy I, okay, on Netflix? Okay, I did I did just find out that that came out and I and and I do me really mean to watch it because he mm-hmm. is a genius and he has been I will say he's very smart. He's a marketing genius. He he's is, a genius. He's worth eight, Shut the I think fuck eight, up. 8 billion dollars. <laughs> yes, but he's he's uh he's just insane. I think he ru- I hate he's his insane. music. His you music hate his fuck. You, you, don't, you, do. you don't like no, to his, you don't like to be at the bar and hear flashing lights come on. That's an old song. His old songs are good. Oh, well, His, you didn't state when they any start, of that. When he started fucking switching, like, even, was it, fuck, All right. did, in Mercy, he switched the beat. When he switches beats mid-song, I drives love me that. fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> it's a three-act play, nuts. Tyler. Dude, it's you. like, you literally had such an amazing song. The I was pod. vibing. And, and the then shit. you just destroy it. All I right. Can't, well, I can't you watch listen to this Jesus, fucking. You okay. watch the Jesus I can't trilogy. listen to this defamation. No, of here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. I can't watch the Jesus shit because Netflix is going under. All right, <laughs> they're fucking done. Pay another over. eight bucks a month and finish it. I actually, I'll give you the eight bucks. I don't. I haven't had Netflix in a long time. I don't oh, have. Boy. I only have Hulu, dude. Netflix is dead. Okay. All right. We'll leave on a Netflix is dead. We'll leave on Netflix is dead. Thank you for listening to another the episode of tape. On Tap. May your toilet paper always be more than one ply. Mm -hmm. May your beers always be cold. And may your radio always be playing on tap. And let your your bed sheets be lacking shit from your wife. (laughs) Thanks for listening to On Tap with the Boys. Be sure to follow us on social media and stay updated. Tune in next week for another episode about Tyler's problems. (laughs) Tyler smells. No, dude. Don't do that.